What's good YouTube, Aaron with For Faith Fitness here. Um, I wanna jump straight into the video today. I don't wanna waste your time, so we're gonna do three biggest myths in weight loss. And uh, number one is going to be carbs. And really this is any extreme um, end of the spectrum, whether that is really low carb, really low fat, really high protein, um, whatever it is. I mean, if you've watched the channel, you know that I talk about this um, quite often. And so for carbs, what I see people do most often is drop the carbs really low. And it certainly can work. I'm not saying that Atkins or keto, which is really big right now, doesn't work. It's only if you're able to stick to it forever. I mean, if you could see yourself eating this way for the rest of your life, then great. And you're having success on it, great. Um, but my rebuttal to people who say that uh, carbs don't allow you to lose weight is, I mean, look at vegetarians. They're very high carb. I mean, sometimes they're 70% um, carbs a lot of fats in there too, um, and then a lot of those carbs are higher protein, but still, I mean, you're looking at least 50% um, for a vegetarian. So if they can lose weight successfully on all of those carbs and veggies and, and high protein carbs, you can as well. So I wouldn't sweat it. I would just eat a normal diet, something that you can sustain forever. Number two is going to be walking and running. Um, as a form of weight loss. Now it can work. Again, it works. If that is something you love and you just you love it so much that you go out and do it, then um, then you're going to find success. But our bodies are built in a way that is made for walking and even running. We can run pretty efficiently. You might not feel like it, but you're not burning a whole lot of calories compared to what you could be doing with something like weightlifting or high intensity, even like sprints are just much less efficient. And we want that when we're losing weight, when you're losing body fat, you want to burn as many calories as possible. Um, if you're able to go for a really long jog, that's because you're not burning a whole lot of calories. So you can definitely step up the intensity. Um, and then I recommend weightlifting, but uh, there's lots of modes. And I'm not saying that it can't be a great supplement, especially for the heart. It's good. It's a good thing to be walking and running, but not as your main form of weight loss. Last thing, number three, is going to be weight fluctuations. That is a common myth um, when it comes to weight loss. And the myth is that, oh, I did bad last night. Uh, I gained three pounds, right? I hear that all the time. Your body did not, I repeat, and this is important for you guys um, trying to lose weight for your mental state whenever you are losing weight. Your body does not have time to convert extra calories to fat overnight. It just doesn't. It takes more time than that. I promise you, typically whenever you eat and you do bad, you're, you're increasing your sodium, you're increasing your carbs, you're increasing um, your overall calories. All three of those things hold water. And so there is no chance for your body to ditch the water at that point and you will return to your normal weight whenever that water um, subsides. So you just have to keep moving forward. You know, even if you gain three pounds overnight of, of weight, it's really water. Keep moving forward, keep working out, get back on the horse, and I promise that'll go away as fast as it came. The very next day or the day after that, you're gonna have leveled out, and then that whole time you're gonna have been burning fat as well um, because you got back on the horse. So hope that helps. Um, this is my first video back in a while, so if you uh, are new here, um, subscribe, uh, comment, leave questions below, and I'd love to get back to you. And um, yeah, guys, I just love doing this. So if, you, if I can help you in any way, let me know of video ideas that you'd like me to help you with. So have a good day. God bless.